Again, I implore you to remember, f your puts, f your calls, Jay Powell has you by the balls. God bless my money printer. Welcome to Market Makers, everybody. Your home for tomorrow's TA today. Often imitate it, never replicate it. Guys, this is a market update video. Our full production video will be out Sunday with our monologue. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because tomorrow is the big day. The rate cut. As you know, we have been rallying up as predicted. If you've been watching this channel here in 2024, we got on the GFC cycle early. We understood the movements in the marketplace. All of you have seen this play out in real time. Our July 16th top, the same identical top as in the GFC. We gave you the 10.5% decline to the dollar for the S&P at 51.20. YouTube then came out and started talking about the next leg down, how to trade the next leg down. I told you this would rally back up and confluence with the GFC cycle and tomorrow is the rate cut. So I want to share with you how the charts are setting up because this is very exciting. You're starting to see my targets, my topping dates disseminate all through YouTube, people talking about October tops, people talking about 5,900 to 6,100 on S&P futures. But this is where you come for the TA and you get it early ahead of time. Why? Not because I'm smart, but because I recognize patterns. Pattern recognition is key, in my opinion, in trading these massive market bubble cycles. Guys, before we start, I want you guys to check out BitUnix. Lee, throw this screenshot up. Guys, this is a BitUnix tournament. They're going to be running a 60-day tournament. I would try to get this video out a couple days ago. I've been under the weather. They're running a 60-day tournament. As you know, I expect massive market volatility. No KYC is needed. No VPN is needed. If you want to try out this exchange, if we get enough people to participate, the winner can unlock a Tesla 3. Yes, you can win a car. They have a whole slew of prizes. That's the landing page. I'll pin it in the YouTube comments, okay? If anybody wants to join our Discord, I did another market update video yesterday. People asking in the comments how to join. Click the YouTube join button. We've got a little video there explaining how to join. Very simple, guys. Anybody can do it. And of course, our website will launch soon. I've been saying that for weeks, but it will launch soon and we'll have all of our material available on the website as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Guys, on the left, you have the GFC. Let's go over the similarities in the pattern, do a quick recap so we can see how closely we are tracking to the cycle. Fed funds in 2007 was five and a quarter percent. Fed funds in 2024 was five and a quarter percent or is five and a quarter percent. Here you made your top July 16th, 2007. Here you made your top July 16th. 2024. I mean, that's that's pretty similar to start with, right? Then we got the big pullback retracement, 10.5% to 5120. 2007, big pullback retracement. Then we had Jackson Hole, just like we did here. September 18th was the first rate cut in 2007. You got 50 basis points. Look at the big bullish candle on September 18th. September 18th is tomorrow. As you guys know, for weeks, I have been saying I anticipate a 50 basis point cut. Again, not because I have any special insight, but merely because that was the first cut in 2007. Actually, it was cut on the exact same day, September 18th. It was also the first cut in January 2001 for the dot-com bust. Again, 50 basis points. And what happened after the first cut? Both times we rallied for 23 days, 23 days off the low in 2001, 23 days with the rate cut in 2007. We made our top over here in 2007, October 11th. I anticipate an October top that could come as soon as October 2nd. It could travel into the month. Once we see how the market reacts to the rate cut, if we do in fact rally, we'll start drilling down that date, guys. But this is the similarities in the markets, tracking identical, and you've known about it for months on the Market Makers channel. Let's look at the ES here on the weekly time frame. Again, using our ABC pattern, we have 61.36 as an upside target. Remember, 
5,900 to 6,100. We drilled this down into a smaller pattern, an ABCD pattern, also an ABC pattern. We looked at the wave symmetry, the synchronicity in the marketplace, 15 and a quarter percent on the first leg, 15 and a quarter percent on the second leg. That takes you to 5,900. My topping dates, we have October, early October here, out to mid-October. You guys have had this for weeks on the channel. This is what I'm anticipating for the market to do. Let's go ahead and move forward to the daily time frame of the S&P. Of course, this green line represents the rate cut tomorrow. Again, I do believe it will be 50 basis points. Here's your 50 moving average as well. You can see we had a futures contract rollover, so we have that gap up. We have some market volatility today. Tomorrow's the rate cut, the level you want to take out, 57.21 in futures. Take that out and you're, you're elevating to the next level. Now, people said, what if the Fed doesn't cut rates? If the Fed doesn't cut rates, they're cutting rates, guys. I'm not certain on that, but it's extremely high probability they're cutting rates and I think it's 50 basis points. If they don't, this is all coming right back down, okay? The market wants the rate cuts. So this will all come right back down, but you want to watch and see if we get our takeoff, take out the all-time high, 57.21. By the way, the Dow already took out its all-time high, right? So part of the prediction is already coming true. I told you new all-time highs with the rate cuts. You actually took out your intraday all-time high as well here on the S&P. So this is already happening, guys. We look at the NQ. This is the NASDAQ futures. Look at your W pattern that form. Look how beautiful the W pattern is. I anticipate new all-time highs with the NQ. Again, I know some of you disagree. Some of you think it's just going to double top out, make a lower high, co-equal high, whatever. We had a lot of things happen here in the NASDAQ, mathematically speaking. We had 100% expansion off of the cycle low. We had the NASDAQ come up get to our 100% movement target here of 20,623 on our larger ABC pattern, did not get a weekly close above, sold off. I think it's coming back up with the S&P as the S&P pushes up to rally here to finish off September bullishly, right? Let's go ahead and look at the NQ on the daily. Again, what what's the pattern you guys should know by now watching this channel, right? The W pattern. You're looking at your W pattern here. We look at the W pattern. We can pull a fib retracement from the all-time high down to that retracement level low. The level to defeat is going to be this local high right here on the W. Let's go ahead and throw this array on here. Get that price for you guys. It's 20,000, right? You need to get above 20,000, start breaking out above the midpoint. Then you're going to be coming up to challenge 20,570 and 21K to take out your all time high. Once you do that, guys, we have 5,900 to 6,100 on the S&P. What's our NASDAQ targets? 22K, 23K. I'm rounding down here slightly a couple hundred points. Okay. 22K, 23K, these are my NASDAQ targets. So let's go ahead and move forward. On the DAX, guys, beautiful accumulation pattern. Where's our large ABC that we've drawn out in all the indices from the pandemic low? 20,160, let's call it 20,200. We look at this from a Fibonacci perspective up here in our current accumulation range, and you get the 1618 right at 20,200. Just above it is 21K, okay? So we're gonna watch the 20,000, 21K here on the DAX for an explosive move up, even though China's economy is crashing. Germany's economy is being obliterated, right? It is steadily going down. I got a lot of family in Germany. It doesn't matter. Euphoria, emotion, that's all that matters in the marketplace. Fundamentals, nobody gives a shit about. I'm telling you, this is a euphoric market. It's driven by people. Markets are made up of people. People are emotional. They want to believe and drink the Kool-Aid that the rate cut is going to spur on a new bull cycle. This is how you get the blow off tops. You're going to see it displayed in the DAX as well. Here's the DAX on the daily time frame. Key level to take out is your all time high of 19,034. You're 187. Watch the September 18th rate cut tomorrow. Could we possibly get 25 basis points? And you see the indices initially pull back because they're like, oh, we really want it 50 and then see them go up. Of course you could, guys. You're going to get volatility. We've been talking about this for weeks. 
overall trajectory is going to be up because all of these global assets follow the largest $50 trillion market in the world, the S&P 500. That's what they will follow. They will all make blow off top. So watch these levels, guys. Looking at Bitcoin, look at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. Fell right to our moving average on the 50. And as you can see, you look at this from this from this direction here. Again, we've talked about this over the last couple of videos. Bitcoin tends to top. This is a clear distribution top. Sold, it hit a spike up. Spike down, came back up, lower high, collapse. You had a level change. Same over here, right? You got your spike up, then you had a clear collapse, a level change, more distribution, a level change, more distribution, your bottom. This to me was never a distribution top, as you guys know, since October 2023, when I shared the diamond pattern breakout on YouTube for a 130% gain, I told you this blow off top is not in yet. Okay. You still have more room to the upside. So we're going to look at this on the daily, but this to me, this exact pattern, we covered this previously in the previous video, but for all the new people watching this descending channel type pattern was clearly identifiable as well on the DAX. Okay. You had this exact same type of pattern. Look at this descending channel type pattern and it broke out to the upside. It's exactly what I think Bitcoin is going to do. So let's get some targets for Bitcoin to do this move. If we look at this on the daily time frame, you're already at 61,000, right? So again, you're starting to get that market move up. Here's your September 18th rate cut. Now, remember for me, this is where I differ from a lot of the crypto bros. Bitcoin is beta tech. Beta tech is going to move at a beta to the NASDAQ 100 specifically, typically at a two to a three X. So how well the NASDAQ does will determine how well Bitcoin does. But when we look at this from a target perspective, vis-a-vis -vis Fibonacci, the first level I want to look at here, Fibonacci, I want to pull this local fractal high of 65K retracement level low here. I want to see Bitcoin take out 68.5, come back up to 72, almost 73K. Why? It needs to rechallenge these highs highs, right? Needs to rechallenge all these highs in your five wave move so far that you've had down. Challenge these highs, come back up, may get some type of pullback and a launch off of that point. But when we look past that point where Bitcoin's going to go, we need to look at the entirety of the accumulation range, right? So our all-time high down to our retracement level low. We've been over these targets many times. Need to take out 73.8. Then you need to look into the 80s. 80K at the 1272. 89K at the 1618. And ultimately, if you can take out these two levels, if the NASDAQ wants to run up to a new all-time high in confluence with the S&P, then we're looking at 98.7, let's call it 100K Bitcoin to the upside. These are the key levels. You have to take out these previous fractal highs to have a chance to go up higher. I mean, that's just common sense. It makes sense, right? But I want to see Bitcoin continue to move up and then it will probably pause somewhere in these highs, somewhere in the low 70s before maybe, I guess you could say, launches even higher from that standpoint, okay? So that's what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and look at this on NVIDIA. I've been talking about the targets on NVIDIA, guys. Again, if we take the entire accumulation range here for NVIDIA, this is important stock. Even if you're not trading it, you need to know because NVIDIA doubled this year. NVIDIA was responsible largely with the other MAG7 for the vast majority of the gains in the marketplace. And I think if NVIDIA can take out 140, it has to get back above 130. If it takes out 140, you're looking at 150 to 170 NVIDIA here on the upside. And if it went more parabolic, you can call it $200 on NVIDIA. Again, we don't have the rate cut yet. I can't tell you it's certainly going to happen. As you guys know, I believe extremely high probability, as close to certain as I can be, you're getting the rate cut, okay? Will it be 50? Will it be 25? You're going to see volatility with 25. And again, I've been a contrary on this the whole time. All on Bloomberg and CNBC, you've had so many money managers come on and say 25 basis points says healthy market, blah, blah, blah. 50 basis points says the Fed may know something that we don't know. And it's been the opposite the whole time. And you saw this play out in real time last week with the CPI. The CPI came in slightly hot. And what was what? why did the market sell off initially? Because the market was worried it wouldn't get 50. And now the 50 basis points is a 50-50 shot, okay? So that's what you need to understand about the markets. It's emotional. It's euphoric. 
I want to see NVIDIA take out 140. Then you have your 150, 155, your 170 range and your 200 range. We'll see how we run up into the markets and how this tracks with the NASDAQ. We look at gold, guys. I told you my gold targets, 2,800 to 3,000. We can get there multiple ways. If we look at gold from the 2011 high, right, down to that retracement level low, very long accumulation range over here. You're looking at gold coming up to that 2,800 level. I can't get that exact candle here. Close enough. Maybe be a candle short. 2789, 2800. Obviously, with a blow off, if it keeps going, I'm looking in the 3000 range. Key psychological number. Gold set a new all time high again. Right now, 2569. And again, I can get confluence with these targets simply by looking at the more current accumulation range from 2020. Okay, so 2020, let me expand this, make this job a little bit easier. 2020 down to that retracement level low. You can see my next level is 2820. So I'm looking at 2800, 3000 on gold, then a top, then a retracement when the market rolls over. We'll go over those future targets where that retracement will go in another video. Looking at silver on a three week chart, as you can see, what silver need to do? Silver needs to take out 32 bucks. If silver takes out $32, look at this accumulation range, looking on a three week chart, right? Look at this clear Wyckoff play out here. You have, you have, your, you have your move up, your move down, your retest, the down thrust, you're back up here in the top level. Could you just double top and break down? Sure. But silver, I think, is going to move up as well. My targets are 37.90, which let's call 38 bucks, all the way up to 42.71. I think that's your two silver targets. And look what happens when you get up into this range. Okay. I just want you guys to understand this concept. Look what happens when you get up into this range. This is a large move up. Make no doubt about it. Let's just take a price range tool from your current price where you're at now. You're looking at a 40% increase to come up to $42. Big move. But look what happens. It puts you back here, right? This is the 2011 top. So you have history repeats, and then you'll have a pullback when the markets roll. And then the metals, just like in the GFC, when silver fell a ton, it fell 61%, gold fell 34%, the metals bottom, and then they go off on their parabolic runs, okay? So you're going to get these blow-off tops, and then you get a pullback again. We'll cover that in a future video. Those are my upside targets for silver. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe. I answer your comments as always. Check out our Discord. Check out the BitUnix tournament. And I will look forward to talking to all of you on the Sunday video. Take care, everybody. Make a wish and